What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Let's Play Filament Episode 8 with me, GamerNoob. We're just about to do whatever puzzle these are, so let's jump on in and get them done. Also, Gaza, get out of here. Thank you. Um. Okay. Seems simple enough. What are these puzzles called? Constellation puzzles, huh? So you're supposed to run them... I don't know. Not entirely sure. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So if we run them like this... They just have to make, they have to follow the lines, basically. They have to follow the lines. So we should be able to run back down this way. Then around here, and then loop over here. And then out. Neat. Neat puzzles. These are pretty, pretty neat, that's for sure. I do like that it's like, hey, you can only start here. So that's kind of simple. And you have to go to this one from here. There'd not be another choice. So I can loop like this and then... I would never make it if I came back this way. Yeah, this would never work. Hmm. That won't work. Cause I need to. I need to come in from that way for that one. I can't cut it off then. If I, so if I wrap around here, I can do this one. Then I can't do that one. So if I wrap around here, I can do this one. Go back, wrap here. Down. Well, that would never work. Would it work if I came back through here? I don't think so. Hmm. Okay, let's see. So if we do this, we can then do this. Maybe this is what I was missing. Maybe I was just messing up the very beginning there. I think that's all it was, is I was just messing up the beginning. And then we can just leave. Okay, yeah, I was just messing up the beginning like an idiot. It wasn't actually that hard. Hmm. Come back. I don't think this is going to work. Yeah, this won't work. Well. Maybe that means we go up first? Well, that won't work because we just wrap into that if we did that. And then we can just wrap along here. This is what I did last time, but I'm trying to see if I missed something maybe. Um, loop around this way. That's how you get those, I'm pretty sure. That's almost definitely how you get those. I want to be able to get around this and then go up. So maybe we do the top half first, maybe. 
Let's try the top first. Shouldn't be too difficult. I love that it tells me what ones I have to connect, though. Like, that makes these puzzles so much nicer. They're probably still going to end up really difficult, but so much nicer than uh, some of the other puzzles that I've had that have not been very, very simple at all. I love the background in this one, too. It's so pretty. Ha-ha! We did it. So, on the topic of cake, if the ship were a cake, I would start to express my concern for you about now. That is to say, you're about halfway done. Unlike a cake, Ooh. though, your ultimate prize will be to clean up whatever mess marmalade and aubergine left in the bridge up here, rather than shame mixed with crippling health problems. I'd take my chances with the cake, given the choice. Did you hear that? Dungarees and fast food stickers? Something tells me you would, too. Do you hear that, guys? 50% of the way done, apparently. Oh, of course, I knew there was going to be one where it wouldn't give us a... Where we, like, start 100% from a certain area. But there's still only three logical places you can start from, which is nice. I don't think this works. No, this doesn't work. Zip, 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 zip. I think it's this first, actually. <clears throat> I think. And then we run it down this way. Oof. Then we're... Are we stuck or can we actually loop it all the way back through? We can't loop it all the way back through. So... Reverse! Reverse! What if we started here? It's just a what if. And then went to here. We wouldn't be able to get out, right? Because we can't loop back through there. Yeah, so that doesn't work. Hmm. What if we do this, though? Still doesn't work. Hmm. The exit is over there, which makes me think this might be the last one to hit. I don't have to come back this way, so this one should be like done. Then if I want to wrap through here. Fortunately, I don't know how to make this one work. Like, I could do that one last, but I have to do it now, basically, if I wanted to get it done. And that doesn't work. Hmm. Give me my answer. Please and thank you. What if we, instead of going down, we wrapped it? No, we can't wrap it that way. Does not work. Wrap this. And then unfortunately, if we run it back up here, it doesn't go anywhere. If we do it that way, then it just really doesn't work. Dang it. Okay, let's do it that way then, maybe. Then we wouldn't be able to get it back. That wouldn't work. All right, well, I think we are at the position where I want to figure these out. So I will be right back, guys. Give me a moment. All right, we are back, and I have to say, these were some fun ones. These lines, 
extremely helpful. You know how I was complaining the other day about having to take like hours to freaking figure out the puzzles? Not not this time. This this one took about probably like 30 minutes to figure these puzzles out, which is maybe not even 30, probably 30 at least though. Yeah. Not hours, not hours, which is what matters to me. I I can't I can't deal with hours to figure out puzzles, man. Whew. It burns my brain. It makes me not want to do any more that day. Love my notes, even though sometimes they're kind of garbage. Especially when huh, you start them differently than you normally do because... Just, just because, because of how it works out now. With this one being a one, this one being one now. But it's still followable. And also, I kind of remember the solutions to some of these, just because, and the lines help a lot too, like, I don't have to, I'd be like, oh, well, I obviously can't do it that way, because it just doesn't work that way, so my notes are not telling me to do it that way, kind of thing, you know? Like, if I have a line off to the left, but there's not a line that connects to the left, then I know it's probably, like, up to the left or something, and my artistic abilities were just failures. And success... Dilly 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 do. Returning a paper. The solutions, they come to me. Easily, I might add. No, they're not easy. None of these puzzles have really been easy since, like, the first puzzles. The first puzzles were easy. Or the solo puzzles. The solo puzzles are pretty simple. But that's about it. Back down we go. I just, this background just made me happy though. Like I liked looking at this background. What? Oops, sorry. My apologies. My apologies. I meant to go this way. <clears throat> this one took me a hot minute. But after you kind of figure out that you need to loop back once it wasn't as nearly as hard like as long as you figure out actually no this isn't the one where you have to loop back once never mind that one's coming up that one's coming up this is not this one um go around back then back up again But no, these constellation puzzles are probably my favorite so far, honestly, to look at, though, because just because of the background. The background's really nice. I wish they'd switched up the background in more of the puzzles. Or maybe they haven't. I just haven't noticed, and this one just popped out more than the others. Maybe. But I feel like I would have noticed by now, for sure. But you never know. I'm kind of a... I kind of don't notice things sometimes, so... There could be that. This triangle section was a bit annoying to figure out. Not gonna lie. And then loop down. Still down. I was like, wait a minute, I've already done that one. This I'm confused. My notes say there's one down here. Ah, farther. Yes, makes sense. But once I figured out that tri triangle portion, honestly, like after I figured out like the, f the first way to go, in the triangle portion, this was pretty easy. But that triangle down there was definitely the hardest part of this puzzle. Once you figure out you're supposed to take it up and to the right, though, and then loop all the way down and around, it was pretty simple. I feel so cooped up in here. I was never one for Vermilion's mandatory workout regime, but I could really go for a run right now. Stretch the legs, you know? The most relentless ache. Oh, nothing like what cryosleep did to me, though. As navigator, it was my job to check we didn't stray too far off course while we slept. I had to wake up every few months to keep us on track. This petty ache is nothing compared to what I felt during those course corrections. I've never been a morning person, but that gave a whole new meaning to waking up early. Yeah, I can imagine. about working in space, and you probably get this too, is that with time, space gets kind of boring. The wonder fades. Everyone I've worked with has said the same, except Marmalade. 
He would sit by the window over there for hours, looking through the telescopes and drawing any new constellations he saw. He had a sketchbook full of them. They were quite amazing. The telescopes were canaries. She would get a bit wound up when Marmalade tweaked the settings for his own purposes. Although I think even she enjoyed looking through his drawings. Maybe she was even a little proud that they were a product of her telescopes. Oh yeah, maybe she was a bit proud. Maybe. Or maybe she didn't want you messing with her telescopes. No, no, she probably liked them. Anything to break up the monotony of space, I'm sure, was a, a welcome, a welcome sight. I'm not gonna lie. Like, being in space would be cool and all, but it would get monotonous. Give me the internet, though, man. Give me the internet. I'll set up a, I'll set up a space. As long as you got me enough internet to download and upload quickly, I will sit up in space and I will stream and play games nonstop for you and show you the effect on humans. I don't care. I'll sit up there all fuck, all freaking day. All freaking day. Put me in, coach. I'm ready to play. Today. Speaking of put me in, coach, I've been thinking of on bringing Super Mega Baseball to the channel after some of the series that I've got going on are done. I never played it, but it looks really fun, and I think that would be an interesting one to uh, to try out on the channel. If anybody was interested in that, you should definitely let me know in the comments. If not, hey, it's cool. I might play it anyway because I might be interested in it. Man, I don't let you dictate the dictate what I do. Also, this is the puzzle that I was like. Yo, uh, what, what do I got to do in this one? And, and it's like, you got to loop back like multiple times. And that confused me for a bit. Definitely took me the longest to figure out doing this. This kind of loop here. I had to come back over here. I had to loop here. And I had to go back again. I had to loop again. It was extensive. Then I had to go back again. Once you figure out you gotta loop it though, like it's pretty easy. You're like, oh yeah, well I mean the only way to get that one is if I come back up through here and loop it again, and then I can exit out through the top. Like you know the top two are the last two you're touching because they're connected and the exit is right next to them. And then they're only connected to this one. So you pretty much know you're gonna have to do this at some point. So those were kind of out of the book on the way to go. Up and to the right. Easy peasy. We need more than easy peasy and then lemon squeezy. Life is just a breezy win. Wait for it. I got this. You're not sneezy. Nailed it. Nailed it. I am the best of the rhymers. The best. Nobody can touch my rhyme scheme. Like, really, like, I mean, you should just put me down with the greatest right now, honestly. Poets. Dr. Seuss. Count me in. That's me. I'm the Seuss, man. Nobody touches me in my rhymes. I am the greatest. It is the biggest. No, no, the bush, the bush. Don't mess with the Zohan. It's one of my favorite movies, I think. I laugh at it every time I see it. Aha, aha, aha. It's a so a funny. Hmm? We're descending into madness now. Which is okay. Madness is fine. We enjoy madness. Last one of this set, and then we will probably be calling it a video after we go run around and find more stuff to explore and find our next area that we're going to be doing. After we do all that, of course. I mean, we can't we can't not do that in this video. Us, we might next beginning of the next episode, we might be running around all over the place, lost as all get out, not knowing where to go, and that's just unacceptable. We don't want that to ever happen. These constellations are pretty neat. Pretty neat. I know I've said it, but I'm gonna say it again. Definitely my favorite looking puzzle room so far. 
Just it's so pretty. It's so pretty. I got to have more pretty ones, man. I got you guys got to keep these rooms up. Give me more. Give me more. Did they put up a fight? Wait, what? Tell me more. Tell me more. Is that what we're referring to here? I think that's where I was going. Tell me more. Tell me more. Did she put up a fight? Wait, what? Why? Why? Why would she have put up a fight? Uh. Boys, is that something that normally happens to you? No? Oh, okay. It's an odd question then. Success! I remember, before we all went into cryo sleep, we had to check our workstations along with our equipment and whatnot, just to make sure everything was in working order. It's not like if something was damaged, we could just order another. Pistachio wasn't interested in doing any of it. She had this special plant. I should really remember what it was called as it quickly became the subject of daily conversation. Well, it only flowers something like every 10 years. And this particular plant, it was due to flower on our arrival. She was so excited. She spent all our prep time finding it the perfect spot and making sure it had everything it needed so that when we arrived, it would be healthy and in full bloom. It never did flower though. We checked the ship's footage from the flight. We hadn't missed it. It's a shame she never got to see it flower. It is a shame. Also, I know I knew this already, but ah, there's three floors. We've done all these down here. I'm pretty sure the next one we're going to do is those south of that room, but I kind of want to see. Okay, we do have these room left. Also, lore. You know, I've been aboard a few ships with pretty dire issues in the shower department. The alabaster is not one of them. We've got it all. Good water pressure, dials that actually perform as advertised, and a seemingly endless supply of hot water. I'm sure you can appreciate that as a traveler yourself. I mean, your ship is pretty compact. I bet your shower is tiny. You, uh, you have a shower, right? Maybe. I'm going to choose to believe that you do. Maybe. Maybe I do. Right. I need you to bear with me for a second because I've got a vent here. When we were all selected for this mission, we could submit requests for things we wanted to have on board. These requests would be evaluated on costs and necessity and whatnot. Now, the Filament Corporation were pretty accommodating on the matter. But there was one thing I requested that got denied. I wanted a dance floor. You know, one of the ones with all the colored tiles and flashing lights. Now, I know a little unreasonable, it was a long shot, but think about the morale benefits. Unsurprisingly, my request was denied. Whatever, I was fine with it. But then I get on board and find that they've given Canary an entire pool. Now I know what you're thinking. Isn't a pool just a hole in the ground? Well, you're right. It is just a hole in the ground. A hole containing 400 gallons of water. Do you know how heavy that is? Heavier than a dance floor. And you can't spill a dance floor. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, it looks like we've got one group of puzzles. And then we've got another one down here. So two, and that's connected to that one. And then we had one over in, those are the rooms. Wait, is this locked? We've already been in there. Definitely already been in there. Where's the other one? I know there was one other. Is it up and to the right here? I can't lose it. It appears, yeah, there's going to be three more puzzles on this floor, which means most likely three more episodes, guys. But that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this episode of Phil Element, make sure to give it a like. If you've got anything to say, go to the comments below. And if you haven't yet, hit that subscription button and the bell. It helps me out a ton. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Peace.